Because you remember, that's why you was No, like, I don't remember. But we're gonna we're gonna start another episode of Driving with Ty. So thank you for watching. Um, I wanna give a special thanks to uh, Candace and also Jean for responding to the last video we did where we were talking about um, not being a morning person. Um, I happen to be a morning person. Ty, on the other hand, isn't. <laughs> and uh, both Touché. Candace and Jean uh, gave some very, very great uh, comments. So check out the video. Also, check out their uh, some of their connection info that will be in the description. But today, I wanted to talk about Vex. Yes, robotics. So, we went to an event uh, yesterday. It was a state qualifier for the uh, Robotics League in Maryland. And we, uh, it, was host it was hosted at the new uh, Robotics uh, Center of Baltimore. And uh, Ty and I both uh, volunteered there. A great event. What were some of your thoughts about the event? I think that um, it was uh, great how they had this for the setups for them to practice. Um, that was a plus because you don't always get an area where you can kind of you know do your simulation before you get on the, the actual testing field. So I thought that that was really really good for a lot of the teams um, to to do that. And um, overall, a, a good event. Uh, not too long. Pretty good hours that they were there because um, I've been to some where it's pretty much you know, a twelve hour day, but. That wasn't the case, so it was it was fantastic. Kids were excited, so that's always the the number one goal. Gotcha. So, do you think it was a little bit different? Because, like you said, we've been to uh, other events like First Lego League or FLL, as people uh, call it. Um, but this time we did Vex. Um, do you think it was a little different because we were behind the scenes? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so the one thing I didn't say earlier is that I was the head judge. This was the first time I actually judged this event, which was very interesting. I learned a lot, and it was fantastic. We had, uh, you know, great uh, volunteers. We had great uh, other judges that uh, volunteered as well. We had great refs, uh, great teams. The, the kids were well-behaved, and it was fantastic. So I remember going to other events where it was very, very long. And, and now that I have insight into, you know, the kind of back end that was happening or what was happening behind the scenes, it does give me a little bit more appreciation or a little bit of understanding of why we were waiting so long. Because there's a lot of things happening that you don't see. And I think that's kind of something that uh, is a good takeaway as a parent. You know, we actually were on both sides, but getting involved you didn't really have a lot of experience with it. I didn't have that much experience with it, but we still learned a lot and we still had a good time. And I think that's kind of like a key takeaway for a lot of parents to be able to say, hey, you know, get involved. You know, you may not know how to build a robot, but you don't it's need to know support. that. Yes, yes yeah. you the kids don't. know how to do that. Yes, and that's really, that's the thing. You're, you're prepping the kids for the future. The time where you're going to be retired and they're entering the workforce, that's what you're, pre you're preparing these kids for. And I think that's, that's fantastic. And we talk about ways that we can close that, that gap and, you know, STEM. And for, for those of you that don't know what STEM is, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Um, I, I think they also consider STEAM now where you, you throw art in there as well. Nice. Whether you call it STEM or it's STEAM, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, I, I think these are, are ways for you to do that. I mean, you have things that are going on, especially in Baltimore. We have things okay. like uh, Maker Camp. Uh, we also have like uh, Code in the Schools. It's a lot of great programs that's happening. DHF, where they've converted a tech center to a rec center. Yes. Um, and now we have the robotics center. So, you know, hopefully these things are in your city. And if not, talk to me. Talk to Ty. We can help you get to that point of getting these types of events and uh, I would say places in your city, but I, I think that's the one way we close the STEM gap and make us competitive throughout the world is by having events like these VEX competition, competitions. I think it's fantastic. So, uh, so would you do an event like that again? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm gonna hold you to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching.